disease is called gout. I'm on page 868. And you heard what the lady said. Sabine, she said, I didn't listen to Miss Sonia. And I went and I failed. Sabine speak a whole lot of English. <laughs> right? And they, Gal, Miley, please, Pasisa, please. What is gout? Gout is a disease where the patient has a whole lot of uric acid in the blood. So the patient have this all this uric acid, shh, 868. Where does the uric acid come from? Eating expensive food. Qui mange mi Sonia? Liver, scallop, shrimp, caviar, all right, lobster. That's how you get the increased uric acid. Now, class, what drug you give to remove the uric acid? Alopurinol. When you study in med surge, please do disease and drugs together. I have to teach it separately, but you do it together. You got it? So, gout, tons of uric acid in the blood. Because the uric, the kidney cannot filter. Right? The uric acid go and it plant in the joint and the number one place you see the gout is in the big toe. Not only you see the big toe big, but who wear that big? Sin. C'est sin, c'est noir. I'm going to say it in English. Leo de gout. I blanc. Yo e le tofi. T O P H I. Topi. On bagay blanc qui kaye sou ne. Right? O sla o sou zoe. Topi is number two in data collection. Hard, irregular shaped nodule. Low grade fever. Gatel varietes. Sometimes you have gout, they do dialysis. Why? Because the, your kidneys remove the urine acid. Who at risk to get gout? They say a lot of Italians. Okay, chef. Now, nursing intervention D. This is what Sabine was talking about this morning. That the diamond there. D. Guys, on crayon, c'est ça mon nom est mon doui, parce qu'il y a un gars qui nursing intervention. English, this is what the people going to ask you. The patient got gout. What's your nursing intervention? You see the diamond next to it? Mm -hmm. What Brianna said, shine bright like a diamond. The diamond is there for you to study. Chaque petit diamond non vive la et Right? This is what the girl was talking about this morning. She said, I went and read that book. I read all the diamonds. Right? So let's go. The diamond. <coughs> Provide a low purine diet. Now, in class, I'm going to give it to you like that. It will say, the patient has gout. Which food would you question? Your female food. That means which food the patient cannot what? Yeah. Let's go. Organ meat, wine, aged cheese, high fluid. Why high fluid? To remove the uric acid from the, the body, right? So that means when you have gout, tell me what lab you want to check. Uric acid? What about B, U, N, and 3 lab? Yes. You're going to give um, encouraged weight reduction. Instruct the client no alcohol. Alcohol make your gout have attack. 
no alcohol, no caffeine, no nicotine, right? Increase urinary pH by eating alkaline ash food, milk and cheese, yes. Provide bed rest, monitor range of motion, position the joint, protect the affected joint, provide heat or cold, administer medication. Which medication for the pain? Be careful, you are multi-skeletal. Which medication you will give for gout, for the pain? Inflammatory, soma, lyricil. And then you will give alopurinol. Soma, kukisa, udule, for the pain. Allopurinol to remove what? You may comprend. So listen, if I ask you a diet about gout, be careful. Is the question, okay, I ask you, the patient is on gout. Which food can the patient eat? You at Inclex. What are you, how are you going to bring me with you without talking? You're going to say fundamental nutrition. Was the question about gout? No. It was which what? Which food? You got that? Be careful. Be careful. Comprend. The patient had gout. How are you going to position the arm? Where did I teach you that? <laughs> ah, be careful. Be careful. You elevating it to prevent what? The edema. Because you say gout, la sudetna di med surge gout. The question about positioning. The patient it have gout, which medication? Now you're going to say med surge, Maltese. Ça se comprend. And this is your problem. And let me tell you something. You see that? That's the most honest thing you said. Soon as the student tell me that, I guarantee you a license. You see, once she told me that, that means now, you know what you just said to me? I got you now. You're going to kill me because now you understand. Anytime a student did not recognize that, you ain't ready. This is what I see and I shake your hand. I say, choose a day. I guarantee you license. Because she recognized, oh, Simba Umpan. I cannot answer the what. And this is what I see in us. I make I look at you, I make a decision. And some take tests. So when you think, I say never. <laughs> because you have not recognized. I just Your saw witness. the light bulb. You just went. When I saw that, girl, I guarantee you, I give you a mama, papa, you gonna kill me because you won't run what you need to go do. Ça va causer crédit. Ça, on y a juste une et non venu vendre. Ah, okay, mais là, il y a quoi là? Mélissas. Okay. Any question? No doubt. Then we're going to turn page 867. My name is osteoporosis. <laughs> osteoporosis is taught in MedSurge Multiskeleton. The food for osteoporosis is taught in MedSurge, I mean in Fundamental <laughs> Nutrition, right? How to walk with a osteoporosis is taught Fundamental Positioning, right? Let's go. So, osteoporosis is age-related metabolic disease. 
Bone demineralized nodules may battle you. They ask pato RN. Losing calcium. Where did I teach you calcium? You see that? So, low calcium. What's wrong with this lady? Because of the fundamental electrolyte. Low calcium. What's wrong with this lady? Bone. Bone. The calcium left the bone. Where did it go? In the blood. To the blood. This lady got two problems. She got bone problems. She got blood problems. These are they going to ask you the question. She got bone problem. She got kidney problem. Is she going to fall? Yes. yes, she's going to fall. Do you need to give her water? Yes. yes. To do what? To remove from the what? Okay. Now, the drugs. Where did I teach you the drug? Med, surge, multi skeleton. Give me the drugs. By phosphonates, allodronates, respond to natio. Tell me about the nate. When do you give them? Early in the morning, with a full glass of water, you must be able to sit up. Sit up. When can I not take the nate? If you can walk, you cannot swallow or sit up or stand up. Any question? He kicks you off your mother. Now, where can they kill you? They're going to ask you, give me all that apply. Who's at risk for osteoporosis? Green box, green box. Let's go. Ready? Cigarette smoking. Early menopause. Excessive use of alcohol. Family history. Female. Increasing age. Right? Insufficient intake of calcium. Sedentary lifestyle. Drink, don't work out. White women. White, skinny, Asian. Who's at risk? A black woman, Asian, right? Spanish women. Asian. Asian. Now, here where they get you. Listen. Watch. Osteoporosis. Calcium is low in the bone. Bone. Listen, calcium is low in the bone. So because calcium is low in the bone, where did the calcium go? In the blood. So watch this. Her calcium is high in the blood. Fundamental electrolyte. So how is her Phosphorus. Her calcium is high in the blood because her calcium is low in the bone. Stay with me. Now, if her calcium is high in the blood, that means her phosphorus is low. So she needs food high in what? They're going to get you right there. Mm -hmm. Now, here's where they always get you. Think. Calcium live in the bone. Calcium left the bone and went to the blood. Mm -hmm. So that means in the blood, her calcium is what? High. Stay with me. Would you see this lady have positive chavastia and positive trusso sign? Be careful. Huh? Be careful. Listen to me. Calcium live in the bone. Calcium left the bone and went to the blood. That's what osteoporosis is. So her calcium is high in the what? I want to know, would she be positive for Chuso and positive Chavasia? No. no! Why? Positive true, so positive to Bastia is when the calcium is low in the blood. 
I just got you. Miss Sakumendo, something so simple. Listen, anytime I say high and low calcium, right, when it comes to electrolyte, we're talking about the blood. When we, when we talk about osteoporosis, we're talking about the bone. That's where it mixes. So if I say a person who has osteoporosis, what is in the blood? Calcium. Positive chavasia, positive truso, is when calcium is low in the blood. I just got you. That's the number one question. When I say electrolyte people, okay, I say kawal, your potassium is high. Kiam Fakonesa says some. Kawal, your calcium is low. Kiam Fakonesa says some. Now this I'm to you. See osteoporosis. Calcium na se nan zoa irete. Iso ti nan zoa kote la le. So this lady got high what? High calcium in the blood. So she had kidney problem. She don't have positive true soul. Positive true soul. Because her calcium is high in the blood. This is where they give you. Because what you think, let me see osteoporosis, sir. Who thinks it's low calcium, no son? Low calcium, no so. Yes, baby. They bounce, Hold on. Hold on. Any? <laughs> hey, you know why? I had to say that on my mama papa, mama papa number three, multi-skeletal renal cancer. Oh, it's that you always get that question wrong. And I don't see why. When I say electrolyte, my body, this sun, blood. Okay? So this woman, her calcium is high in the blood darling, is because the calcium shit. So you'll see her with kidney problem. Yes, kidney stone. So they will be flow to get the calcium. So the calcium don't charge, cause what? Stone. So I will say, a patient has osteoporosis. Which food would you question? That's on my mama papa. A lot of vitamin C. Why? Why? Not calcium. Because remember, she already had a lot of calcium. In the what? Blood. So vitamin C will make her cause her to have a lot of kidney stones. That's my. Oh, that's the big mom. Anytime you take that mama, papa, I see you fail that question. Mm -hmm. You see that? You, do you see that? Be careful when osteoporosis. See, osteoporosis, guys, the reason it's a calcium problem, calcium shift. It left the bone and went to the blood. Now the lady got a problem with her kidneys. We, we already know she's going to fall because she got, because the calcium left. When I check her blood, guys, what am I going to see? Hi, then how come you say positive true so positive chavasia? That go for low what? In the blood. Any question? Yes. Be careful. Go ahead, because I know what you're going to ask. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would that make the bone porous? It's the calcium. Let me tell you why. The reason, what she said is, she sucked fast, so I get sick too. 
pores look like a sponge. Mm -hmm. It's because calcium, high calcium, so so English, this is calcium house. This is where you pay your rent, stay here. But as you get older, you move. Where do you go? To the blood. So the lady got two problems. Bone problem, kidney problem. Do you see that? Be careful. She asked, what makes your bone weak? Pours me too. Oh, like Swiss cheese. It's because the calcium. Yes. Is that because when they get older and not exercise, that's what yes. the calcium left? Aches cause them to, but genetics too. You got it? Okay. The reason because phosphorus is low is because when potassium is high, sodium is low, because some husband and wife go to them. You see, when you're living no good, your kidney is no good. When you're kidney no good, you're living no good. There's certain things go together. Well, look up on me, you bell. Go to me, you go, it kicks you up. Or my six, so go on. Yes, darling. Go ahead. So, yeah, you had a question? So this is where the people ask you what exercise. Listen. Now, here it is. Exercise is very important. You remember, we're looking for strength. Strength. Energy. When you're looking for strength, energy, you want me to do aerobics. Swimming. When you want me to lose weight, you want to do cardio. When they say weight bearing exercise, not lift weight, is to walk fast. That is called weight bearing exercise. Fast walking. See, there's two. You can walk. Oh, I'm walking, girl. No, walking is weight bearing is moving your arm and walking with light weight. Light weight. Like Sally Fields. Sally Fields have a commercial on Boniva and after now with the dog. La Pmashi, this is how deep weight. A lot of the students say weight bearing me go lift. Big weight. <laughs> Walk fast walking. You'll do weight bearing exercise. You say no vitamin C. How about vitamin D? Vitamin D is excellent because vitamin D works with calcium. Let me tell you something. Calcium sit right here until you get a drive. Who's the driver? Vitamin D. Vitamin D for bones, calcium is for bones. But listen, if I have a lot of garbage in my blood, garbage in my blood, right? Vitamin C also is very uric, I see. So if I have all this garbage in my blood, you drink a lot of vitamin C. What happened to the kidney? You add to the garbage. So you don't want this person to take a lot of vitamin C because the problem not kidney. Remember the lady got two problems, bone and kidney. That's why anytime you have osteoporosis, we must check the UN and three Yes. I don't understand exactly what she said, but according to the book and the book, Vitamin C, not high vitamin C, not high vitamin C. Why? It will, remember, all the garbage is already in the blood, right? So you can give her calcium, you can give her calcium and vitamin D to help with what she's lacking, but more vitamin C will cause the kidney to what? 
shut down. Huh? They cannot have vitamins to just not too much. You, they cannot have a whole lot. She can eat an orange, but she cannot take a mega dose because it's too uric. Okay? Look at the intervention. Watch. Assist the client for injuries. Hazard environment. Position household items very close, right? Use side rails. Put on bed. Use cane or walker. Put on bed. Use firm mattress. Why? Bone. Bone. Right? Provide personal care. Assist ambulation. Provide range of motion. Back brace. Provide instruction to promote level of health and function. I'm looking for the fluid. Instruct the client for good body mechanics. F. Instruct the client adequate fluid to prevent what? See, that's why when the students say, the book say, I understand what the book say, but who's right behind what the book say too? Remember, the patient got two problems. Kidney and what? Bone. And the doctor may order one-time dialysis too. Okay? Any question? Okay. Turn. Yes. Oh, one more thing I have to say about osteoporosis that's big on the test. Munadoa. I want you to go to number seven, and I want you to highlight that, kyphosis. Students, meet, let me write them on the board. Boom, 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 boom. Kyphosis, right? Kyphosis is osteoporosis. Lordosis, centigramund, Bulnado, or sometime when you're pregnant, mm -hmm. lordosis. Scoliosis is who? Genes. Do you know the students don't know this? And another name for this is Dora Gerhardt. Or something the patient say. My son is three times taller than I am. What he will not do. Okay? So osteoporosis is kyphosis. Lordosis is old or pregnant. Scoliosis is teens. And it's called Dorger Hump. Any question? Yes, mommy, you have a question. Yes, darling. I love you. For joint bearing, weight bearing. In swimming, is aerobic. Hmm? For the swimming, what is the, the swimming? The exercise. You gotta no. teach them to exercise. Yeah. What is the, what oh, is swimming. Oh, is normally good for joints. Weight bearing is osteoporosis. So it depends if they ask her the question. All that apply. It depends how they ask the question. Swimming is for more joints. Weight bearing is for osteoporosis. Let me ask you a question. The client must meet the punishment. I'm 70 years old. I have osteoporosis. Would you teach me how to walk with a cane, a walker, or crutches? Would, they, would she get a crutch? Crutches? No. I'm 24 years old. Would you give me a cane, a walker, or crutches? Crutches. You better know that. The crime must be the punishment. Upaka be a 24-year-old young boy, a damn walker or crutch or a cane. They feel old. An old lady, you will give her a walker. So you give a 24-year-old cane? Crutches. Okay, 
I'm 12 years old. I'm a patient. Would you give me the 70 year old nurse or you'll give me the 24 year old nurse? Why? I can relate. Okay, so let's go. I'm 79 years old. I have osteoporosis. Would you give me crutches? No. Okay. You will give them a walker. I'm 79 years old. You would you give me a cane with only one prong or four prongs? Four. four. Safety. Guys, in collects, you must look for things like that. The crime must meet the punishment. I go to Macy's, I steal a Michael Gore for $300. You are not supposed to give me 30 years in prison. The crime doesn't meet the punishment. You know how hard it is to walk with crutches? You give it to young people, not no old lady. Oh, they would never use it. <laughs> right? There's teaching. They get you guys on those questions too. Anytime you're doing questions, oh mon Dieu, and the question has race in it, uh, 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 race, age, gender, the author is telling you something. Mm -hmm. The black lady, the black 24 year old, the 79-year-old Asian, you need to know the three-month-old right there. I'm looking for something from you. Student get blind on those. So on my test, the P, I put, the ch something, the two-year-old have Hirschbone disease. Oh, bon Dieu. You thought the question was about Hirschbone? <laughs> the question was about the two. Anytime you see age, race, gender, I am, I want to know, do you know about those specific group of people? You go to Inplex, you do. You go into a conference call. Conference call what? They're looking for something from you. You got it? Try it. It's going to help you. Osteoarthritis. It is just like rheumatoid arthritis. However, osteoarthritis has to do with, ready? Race, age, and obesity. Who gets this? Black women. Big mama. <laughs> Where do you get it? Well, let me know. Shita, I back a leve. No sexy. Back. Knees. Uti woy. You know shita. And they can't get back up. You never see this in joint knuckles. Got it. Never knuckle. Osteoarthritis has to do, you see, hip, spine, back. Now, what would you see in the knuckles? Not even the knuckles. Unti bagai, and I'll say it in English, unti bulbul. They call it butchered node, herbendin node. Look, if you look on their knuckles, you'll see a little thing. It's so tender, you can touch it. It's, it's like shaky. That's what you see. But osteoarthritis is not rheumatoid arthritis. They don't have feet problem and knuckle problem. They got back, knees, because this is chunk, drunk. How you say it? Chunk, drunk. Yeah, a lot of this. They have that. Black people get it. Black big mama. Black people, knees, nursing intervention. You will have them lose weight, because you can't change black. You make them lose weight. Exercise. Now, when do you medicate that? Very big. You, I need to exercise, then you give me the medication. You get that? Mm -hmm. 
I need to go exercise first mm -hmm. while you give me the medication. The more I exercise, the better I feel. You got it? Did y'all get that? So I know that's me. Okay? Number four, they go to Herodin nodes, the butchered nodes. And listen, when they walk in the door, they click, 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 click. Repetis. You hear that. Okay? If they don't exercise, they really can be deformed. So you got exercise. Okay? Okay. Then we go to rheumatoid arthritis. Now, rheumatoid arthritis is a, is a joint problem. Synovial joint. Listen, you will never have me exercise first. You medicate me. See, move, the more I move, the more it hurts. So you're gonna F, medicate me and then make me move. Swimming is what I need to do. Swimming is good, okay? Now, rheumatoid arthritis, you remember we give Humera in Braille, you show the medical mayo, right? Now, rheumatoid arthritis, early sign, fatigue, early sign, late sign, deformity, see moon, Kids get it. Y'all did beads with me. What's the early sign for children when they have it? Eye problem. Mommy, I cannot see. M mommy, the teacher brings the child in front, the child still cannot see. Children, early sign is eye problem. Adult, early sign, fatigue. Late sign, deformity. Who a memo na vire pour sa gade? Pie vire, mer vire. Now, in collect, sometimes don't put rheumatoid arthritis. In collect, put something called PANU. P A N N U. On ça. P A N N U. De pi a pale P A N N U, you know it's rheumatoid arthritis. They have a fever. They have a fever. This has nothing to do with WBC. Another word, when you have rheumatoid arthritis, but we check your WBC by going infection by going yet. Why? Because this has to do with connective tissue, lupus. You will see the patient have a fever. Okay? There's a test. How do I know you have this disease? I'm going to do a blood test. Yes, it's called R factor. R factor greater than 100 or greater than 80, you have it. But I will never do WBC on you. I will do a test called ESR. Elevation sediment rate. ESR. A, this is genetic. This is genetic. Haitian people say, oh, left be mal. Yes. When it's cold, it aggravates. When it's cold, it aggravates. Okay? Make sure you know that. Early sign is what? Late sign is what? Deformity. Now, I have arthritis. It's where am I going to see the deformity? My hand? My knuckles? Is it my hand? No. This is my hand. This is my hand. You will see knuckles. That's an inflex question. Knuckles, c'est what? Mais c'est même. Même bagan, you know? C'est knuckles, what font vivre? Pieds me font vivre. Be careful, knuckles, hands. There's nothing wrong with her hand. Is the knuckles? Sit wet like vivid. 
look like a swan neck, a goose. Some people commit suicide. Because if you used to look a certain way, and now you, it look bad. They got to make special shoes. Any question, make sure we know that. Then we go into my love of my life. Amputation. Boot play. Right? Cut the leg. Amputation, once you cut the boot pied, it is called a stump. A stump. Or the other English is called residual limb. Residual limb, I could say boot pied, great Boot. Right? So look, this is the leg, arm. I cut it. We're going to say a leg. We're going to use this. I cut it, what's the English term? Stump. Or residual limb. Now, above the knee, above the knee, below the knee. Above the knee, above the knee, or below the knee. Why would I get my leg cut? Diabetes, PAD, no circulation, or unhealed ulcer, because we cannot leave it. <clears throat> now, any time you get amputated, I don't care if it's above, below, I don't care. Priority, 10 o'clock, CC got amputated. 10 o'clock, CC my patient, what is my nursing intervention? When CC come from the operating room and they, and they give her to me, she's going to have a PCA problem. <laughs> Number one. Number two, they're going to transfer her from her the bed to my bed, to a regular bed, right? As the nurse, there's something I must do for CC. Elevate the foot of the bed. I don't care whether CC have above or below. Ma pleve pie cabana. The first day, I'm going to elevate the foot of the bed. Why, Miss Sonia, to prevent CC from getting a demon? Now, the next day, the next day, I'm going to put the bed down. After 24 hours, I'm going to put the pillow. Did y'all hear that? CC had surgery today, 10 o'clock. CC came on my floor. She did well. They took her from post-op, even not floor. She had, I don't care if she had above, below, say, yeah, I'm going to elevate the foot of the bed. Did I say I'm going to put a pillow? No. no. Then how, why would y'all go on NCLEX? They, let me tell you how they get you. They say, two hours post-amputation, God, Jay, you say go put pillow. The trick was two hours. Yeah, after 24 hours, you going to put the bed down and you going to put your pillow. And the reason they get you, because I get you on my mama, papa. And then you say, but the book say, the book say, Anytime we don't see them, they say, we don't know what to do. 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 Book say, I get so upset with book, and we go to number D, your own page. 
It's there. So we need clarification. That's what we ask. We understand. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to tell you. But then you say what the book say. There's an understanding. Yes, you put a pillow, but when you. Uh -uh -uh. See, because if you read the book, since book said, book said two things. Book said put pillow, and book say elevate the foot of the bed. Right or wrong? Yeah. And then. Book lot see two things. Right? Then that's what the book said. Now, yes. Huh? Do not elevate. Say it again. Do not elevate the foot on the pillow when the first what? The first day. The first day you don't put no pillow. This our book said. Tomorrow, what the pick up and not die. And, and, and the way I get you, and all sometimes they say, 16 hours, what? 16 hours before just stop. Let me show you a trick to help you. Anytime intellects put a time, Pamitiloa. Anytime they put a time, don't put the pillow. Anytime they don't put a time, put your pillow. To help you. After 48 hours, what you put below, that's clear understood. But if they say after amputation, after amputation, what do you do? Elevate the foot. You got it? You see? Just to help you. You got it? Okay? You know 48 hours is easy, it's understood, but they will not give you 48 hours so pretty. That power, 12 hours, 16 hours, we did not wait. 12 hours, we won't take it aside 12 hours. It's the same day one. So day one is what? 12 hours. So what should be up? I mean, okay, why do they put tourniquet up at the bedside? It's because, you remember, I just cut your leg. You can bleed to death. So if you start bleeding, I'm going to tie that leg to prevent you bleeding. You got it? Now, there's something else somebody didn't say. They say you're going to put me prone. Ah. When are you going to put me prone? Remember when you lift the foot up the bed? When you lift the foot up the bed, what do position patient not prone to prevent contractions? Mm -mm. When you put the foot up the bed, you prevent an edema. When you put the patient prone, you prevent an It's when you, mm -hmm, when they come to you at 10 o'clock, you got the first 20, the first, the first day. You're going to put the foot up the bed and then put them as long as they can tolerate and they in pain. Yeah, pro. Now, no, you position them pro. Let me tell you, you position them pro right when they come. You position them pro. While you position them pro, you also lift the foot of the bed. That's it. The next day, they won't do you, They don't need no more prone. Because what happened? The bone now got pizza. The bone already stretched. See, when they go into contractors, it's really the first day when they're in so much pain and they're not moving. So if you already reposition them, they'll be fine because they will never let you put them in prone no more because they're in too much pain. So you put them on prone right where you got them. You just came in, and guys, how long do you think they're going to stay in prone? Five minutes. They're going to say, shit, I can't tolerate this. Reposition me. Oh, my God. They are in a lot of pain. 
They in so much pain, they given their own medication with the PCA problem. Yes, back. Somebody had a question. Yes. I just explained that. I spent 20 minutes explaining that. When you put them in prone, it's because to prevent contractors, right? When are they most at risk to get contractors? When they first get there. So when they first get there, 10 o'clock, you're going to lift the bed and you're going to prone them. That's it. Tomorrow, put them back. Put the head down. Put the foot of the bed down. Put your pillow. Put them back. Super. I'm going to tell you that, and you go put whatever you want to put on the big cliff. Hell, I got a license. Mm -hmm. Who did? Mm -hmm. I work on the ortho flow. I'm telling you. Yes, it says that. But remember, when they are highest pain, it's the first day. While you position them, elevating the bed, you want to mess with them then. Because tomorrow, you cannot touch them. They become comfortable. They're in a lot of pain. They are um, showing that um, feeling their pain, not that phantom pain. You cannot touch them. Okay? Make sure you understand that, okay? Now, NCLEX is going to ask you, what do you do with the boot pied, the stomp? You know when you put on a wig, right? What do you put under the wig? A cap. When the patient heal, and I mean an eight months, nine months healing, you got to Prepare them for prosthesis. You gotta wash the boot pied, the stump. What do you wash it with? Soap and water. Before you put the stump in the prosthesis, you got to put a socks or a stocking or cap. You cannot just stick the stump in the prosthesis. You gotta wrap. So Inklet is going to ask you how to wrap the stump. And that is a skill in your book, how to wrap the bouquet. You got to wrap it, figure eight. Wrap. Wrap the stump, wrap bouquet. How to wrap the, you got to wrap it with ace bandage, Put the cap or socks, stick it in the prosthesis. The back of who weighs the prosthesis are too young. No. A vacuum. A wound vac. They probably put a wound vac to help with the drainage. That means the person not healing quick enough. They'll do that. Not because of maybe the, the, the suture is open, right? And they'll do that. But they will never put a wound back on it. Remember, it's cut if the patient's not healing. Okay? Any question? The skill here, you must know how to wrap the stump. RN. Like an A. You know how you wrap? Figure eight, put a sock, stick it in the, the prosthesis. Now, after, after we, the patient is healed, the patient, it's after he's healed, but before the prosthesis, you're going to have to do assessment for above the knee, different versus below the knee. Did y'all get that? Again. When you come in to me, whether you above, below, the care for the stump is the same. Did y'all get that? Mm -hmm. When you come to me at 10, caring for you is the same. Now you heal. You want to get out of the bed. There's different ways 
I'm going to take care of you who have above the knee versus below the knee. Getting out of the bed. Ready? Let's go. It is on page 865. Below the knee. Okay. Now remember, when they bring you to me at 10 o'clock, whether you have above or below my tree to the same. Did we get that? Yeah. Yeah. Now you heal. You heal. Before they bring the prosthesis, I got to get you out of bed. I'm going to get you out of bed depending on if you have above or below. Any question? Who did not understand that English? If you have above, how are we going to get you out of the bed? Do not allow the residual limb. Residual se bout pie ya. Le pas ni absot na kaban na wa ken be bout pie ya pi pa ki sa. Doesn't hang. English. When you have above the knee, I mean, excuse me, below the knee, you will not let the residual limb hang. Discourage the patient from sitting a long time. You know why? Because the patient going to do what? Flex the knee. Yes. That is for below. Above the, knee, above the knee, when the patient is sitting on the chair, you're going to get towels. God damn it. You're going to get towels and you're going to put one here, one here to support the limb. They kill y'all on these questions. Again. When I get this amputation, I'm going to care for you the same, above or below. But when it's time to get you out of bed and sit with you, there's a way you're going to deal below, and there's a way you're going to deal above. Any question? But once you go to the prosthesis, male pierre wa male, the same way for both. English, you're going to tie it the same way for both. Any question? I've never said mm, when somebody have below the knee, you don't put the foot up. I never said that. Above the knee, below the knee, whatever they have, you still elevate the what? <laughs> Who did not understand? Yes. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you have a knee cut, I mean a leg cut, they also put like a, a big vest, a big support. They, that's what's going to help. So in other words, they call it an abduction pillow. And then you're going to have an abduction pillow. Like this so you don't have contractions. And they're going to put a, trust me, they're going to have it ready, fixed. All you're going to do is keep an eye on that patient. Any question? Yes. Where, where are you? Uh huh. No, the PCA pump will come with it. When you bring the patient to the floor and give to me, I say I'm feeling like too pumpy, medicama. Your job is to keep feeling it. Oh, the PCA pump come with the patient. Oh, come with the patient. Who work in the hospital? The only way for you to know this, that means you got to work in the hospital. And you see, I know it's hard because you can imagine it. And I understand when you have not done clinicals at all, 
and you only going by the book. I, I, my get problem sa. My problem is, is when I tell you something, you want to question me. I'm, you're supposed to question me. Excuse me. But if I'm trying to tell you, statistics show all these damn people that have been passing, I've been telling them the same thing. You think I'm going to tell you the wrong thing? Okay, so it's, yes, it's hard when you don't work and you don't see it. But has I'm trying to explain to you. Huh? Has will have PCA pump? Has peace patient. Yes, they will put them because what's in that pump? Morphine. The help them die slowly. But these ones, hey, and listen, the patient have the PCA pump. What do you want to check on that patient? I just got amputation, I got a pump. Is it? What is your, what you want to check on this patient? Respiration. Respiration. Yeah. And what else you going to make sure I have a lot of? Fluids. Fluids. Because they are constipated. They will be constipated. Let's get your busy. Any question? Yes. Go ahead. I'm listening. They cut is where they cut you. Above, if you see, look at your knees. You see where your knee at? Touch above it. Now look at your knee. Touch below it. That's it. Um, okay. Go to, go to, eight sixty five C and D. You see it? Look. Do not. Allow residual limb to hang over the edge of the bed for what patient? Below, below. below the knee. Once you come in, you have amputation, and I finish taking care of you. Now, six, seven months, it's time for you to get out of bed. Some people heal faster. Now I'm going to see if you had either above or what. That's when you're going to use this. Determine what the patient what had. Okay. All right. I need to stop here. My nerves are bad. All right. Listen. Banana. Yes. Tomorrow.